basically the whole way down you're driving through a river Woo! look at that drop off good morning i look like shit because i was kept up all night by coyotes <sighs> All throughout the night, they were just like circling my campsite. Up until about 10 minutes ago, I just kept hearing them howling and screaming. So I did not get really much sleep. It just scares me because I have peaches and I know that they can smell her and I don't want them thinking that they're gonna get a snack. Go get your own food. Okay, but you know what? I'm not gonna let Peaches be an easy target. I am on the verge of buying her one of those full body spike suits. She would look pretty goth punk, but at least it would keep her safe. I'll turn her into a makeshift porcupine. I know that seems a bit dramatic, but I was talking to another camper like a week ago, and she also has a small dog, and she was saying that there was one morning where coyotes were lined up on the hill, waiting for her dog to come outside. It's just crazy. Oh, oh, really bright, damn. Of course my shirt shrunk and I put it on backwards, okay. Game plan, oh, sorry I came in a little hot. Game plan, that's better. Today I'm gonna be going up a very steep and some would say very dangerous road, but it's a shortcut to where I'm going so that's all that matters. I'll do anything to avoid driving an extra 20 minutes. So we're going up this one really sketchy road basically is what's happening. It's very narrow, has 1,000 foot drop offs with no guardrail, and also has ATVs coming in the opposite direction at like 60 miles per hour. So basically just an average day in Phoenix. Based on my previous videos, I'm hoping that nothing terrible happens. Seems like my luck has not been good lately. And then tonight I'm gonna be camping in the Grand Canyon, which I didn't even know you could do. Let's go. <laughs> Fingers crossed, y'all. Look at this view. Wow. Woo! Look at that drop off. So far, so good. Uh, I'm hitting snow right now, the first bit of snow. I just don't want to hit a lot of snow, that's my only request. But it's also really muddy. So that makes this stretch just a little bit sketchy. Because there is the cliff right next to me as well. I also don't understand how this road is two ways, considering at some points, like right here, it gets to be so narrow with cliffs on both sides. But look at this view out my window. I was a bit apprehensive about coming onto this road just because of snow and it, it's not plowed regularly and stuff like that. But so far, so good. I've been on it for about 20 minutes and I passed all the snow, you guys saw that. And as of now, it's pretty much just dry dirt, not even mud, which I'm thankful for. So, fingers crossed it stays like this while I keep driving. Whoa, this is sick. Whoa. Whoa, 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 that's so cool. I made it to a part of the road that's very rough. So this makes it a little less fun. Oh, 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 okay. Oh shit, my phone fell, okay. All right, it's been a little while since I talked to you guys. I think I found a really nice area to camp. Uh, the road in is quite muddy, which makes me a little bit concerned, but not too bad. As long as I keep up my pace, I should be good. So I drove all the way down here just to find that this road is completely frozen over right there. I tried driving through it a bit, almost got stuck. Did not make the mistake of just revving my engine, so I backed out, I'm not doing it. So that leaves me right here. The only problem is the fact that there's nowhere to turn around. I would need to back up this entire road, which goes about a mile. So what I think I'm gonna do is just try driving up to this spot. My friend already went up. That's really the best option if I don't wanna drive like back all the way up this road. This camp is really pretty, but I am here for a reason. As I said, I'm going into the Grand Canyon tonight. As far as I could find, there is only one road that actually goes into the Grand Canyon. The only caveat is that it is in a Native American reservation and you have to pay to get a permit to go. The other only thing is that the road going down is very rough. If you thought the road I was on earlier was rough, boy. So I'm not gonna be taking my truck. That's why I'm at this campsite. I'm gonna be leaving my camper here overnight. There's no one else around me. I'm in the middle of nowhere. The only concern of mine is that it's getting down to 25 degrees tonight, and I don't want any of my things bursting or freezing. I'm gonna leave my heater on at 50 degrees. Keep my cabinets open. You know the scene in a horror movie where a poltergeist is just kind of fucking with a family and it decides to just go in the kitchen and wreak havoc and fling all the cabinets open, throw pots and pans, food, everything, the fine china. I feel like that's kind of what my camper looks like right now, but at least nothing's gonna freeze. 
since I'm leaving my truck here, we're gonna be taking my friend's van down into the Grand Canyon. He has bigger tires, lower clearance, skinnier vehicle, all around better. The drive started off pretty tame with just a bit of snow, but as we continued, it just kept getting prettier and prettier as we decreased in elevation. There were parts where I couldn't even fit everything in frame because the mountains were just so huge. But once we got a little bit closer to camp is when it got really fun. Basically the whole way down, you're driving through a river. It's not too deep in most spots, but you want to make sure that you keep moving so that you don't get stuck. And also your car gets a nice wash on the way. Woo! This is so cool. Wow, wow, wow. This is the camp spot? Whoa! Only thing I just noticed is that there's no solar because we're in the shadow of a mountain right now. But yeah, we're the only people at this entire camp spot. Look at this. Ah! Awesome! And we got the river to ourselves. This is the only sliver out here that has sunlight. So we're gonna move the van right here. Even though I'm in the desert, since the Colorado River's right here, the vegetation around here is insane. It's like a palm tree right here. Talk about a campsite with a view. This is awesome. Wow, this is truly magnificent. That's why it's called the Grand Canyon, right? It's not called the Ant Canyon. There are porta potties. Yes, thank you. I just don't know why the porta potties are all the way up here. You gotta hike like a quarter mile. I think I'm supposed to go down this really steep hill into the bushes. But if any horror movie has ever taught me anything, that's not what I'm supposed to do. There's a legit beach down here. And there's the truck. This is neat. It looks a little haphazard, but like there's a hole right here you can just fall into. But it's cool. I'm scared. This is definitely for one-way traffic. I just tried getting out of the way for my friend and I'm standing right here like, oh. We're moving down here, we're closer to the river. I don't know if you guys remember from my last video, but this rug was frozen solid. It's been two days and there's still a tiny bit of frost on it. Here's a quick walkthrough of his truck. He has a Velcro bug net right here. So here's the entrance. There's a countertop, as well as a sink. Also a little walkway under the countertop. Then the passenger seat swivels backwards. Across from the first countertop is a second countertop. And here's his fridge and just some storage. And then a bed. I'm not gonna go too in depth because this is not my rig. That'd be kind of weird. I just wanted you guys to have an idea as to where I'm staying. On. Thank you. So this is Korean barbecue steak, and then we're putting coleslaw on it on top of sourdough. Bon appetit. One thing that I have noticed since being down actually in the canyon is that it's significantly warmer down here than up above where we started. My friend says 30 degrees. I was gonna say like 20, um, but I'd probably agree with him actually. It's a lot warmer down here, especially in the sun. So it's really nice to just escape the snow because that's where I've been for the past mm, few days. The sun's finally gone behind this mountain right here. So where I am right now, it drops like 30 degrees. So I'm popping this bad boy on and it was almost instant. Don't mind if I do. Some little sticks. Cute. I saw a sign for rattlesnakes earlier. I've been damned. But that's how I go. <laughs> it burns. Guys, one really trippy thing to think about is the fact that that's like the base of Earth. This rim that goes all the way around, even up to there, 
that's the base of Earth, and then all this has been carved out by water. I know that's very basic, but it's still really cool to think about. For dinner, we are having leftover pasta and mixed with Chef Boyardee. And then I had some cooked grilled chicken, um, and then we just threw that in there as well. Bon appetit! <laughs> mm. I'm saying, mm, I haven't even tried it. <laughs> mm. Very good. Right now I'm sitting in this ottoman. Can you see Peachy behind me, laying on the bed? And this, my friends, is the end of the video. Well, not quite yet. Really quick, I just want to ask you guys if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Doing all those are free ways that you can help my channel out. It's a free way that you can help any YouTuber out that you like. It's really great for the algorithm. So if you want to help out my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've seen a huge uptick in my channel's performance since asking you guys to do this, so thank you guys so very much. Also, we're getting close to, and I can't even believe I'm about to say this because I'm shook. We're getting close to 100,000 subscribers. Mm, okay. Trust me, when I get my plaque in the mail, boom, oh, I shouldn't have done it that hard. Boom, right here, okay? This is my office. It, It'll be in every video, okay? I will never not look at it. I will be obsessed. Um, so I'm so excited. I already have a spot for it. And I'm just so appreciative. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching my videos. I truly could not do it without you. I can make videos all I want. If no one watched, it would be nothing. So thank you. Also, before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. Because of you, I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world, but mostly the US for now, have to offer. And an extra special thank you goes to Gary Fuller, Gregory Dyer, Mark Lipman, Robert Swan, Scott Krutz, Brian Butterfield, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. But once again, thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. If you would like to join, all the information will be down in the description, along with other ways that you can support the channel if you would like. I also have an OnlyFans that'll be linked in the description as well, along with my Instagram. I post on there almost every day, so if you wanna see kinda what I'm doing day to day, great place to check me out. And lastly, before I go, I just wanna give a shout out to the Cancer Research Institute. Been working with them for a hot minute. We've raised over four grand so far, which I am thrilled by. Thank you guys so, so, so very much. Uh, it's near and dear to my heart because my best friend Millie passed at the beginning of this year. Um, I get questions about her all the time. I appreciate that you guys care, I really do. It makes my heart warm every time I see someone mention her. So if you're feeling giving and you're looking for something to support, this is a great charity to support. I don't know why I was having difficulty with, okay, I can't speak. It's a fantastic charity and I will also leave that linked in the description as well. Um, you, you can send one, two, five bucks, whatever you want. But I think that is all that I have to say. I only got tongue tied once. That's good. That's good for me. Also another thing, I'm glad nothing bad happened in this video. This is like one of the first ones in a hot minute that nothing went wrong. Yay. Peace out, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you, take care, have a great rest of the day, night, whatever time it is when this video reaches you. Bye bye, I'll see you in my next video, peace.